Four Knights game, Spanish variation, Rubenstein counter gambit. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Both players missed some big chances in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. In the Vienna opening, white has the option of playing f2 f4 by delaying nf3, which protects the e4 pawn and controls the d5 square. nf6 develops the knight, attacks the pawn on e4 and controls the d5 square. nf3 advances the knight into the center and engages in combat with the pawn on e5. It is quite good. nc6 controls the d4 square, advances the knight toward the center, and protects the e5 pawn. bb5 develops the bishop, attacks the c6 knight and prepares castling. nd4 centralizes the knight and attacks the bishop on b5 and the knight on f3. It is the last book move. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board's center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is ideal. This exposes a bishop attack. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. That falls flat. This misses a chance to strengthen a pawn's defenses. It is incorrect. This misses a better way to recapture a piece. This allows the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. This gives the adversary the chance to win a tempo by posing a rook threat. It is incorrect. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. It is ideal. Thus, the assaulted rook is protected. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. This allows the opponent to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is a mistake. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks a better way to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is a miss. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. 
This permits the opponent to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is an inaccuracy. This fights against the opposing rook for the open file. This stops the opponent from being able to take an outpost with a knight. It is best. This is the way to win a pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This poses a queen winning danger. It is incorrect. The queen is therefore moved to safety. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is ideal. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This moves away from the queen of checking. It is ideal. This forces the opponent to double their pawns, which weakens their pawn structure. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is good. Backs off. That's good. It's alright. That's good. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. This misses a chance to imply that you might win a queen. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Both players missed some big chances in the end game.